Welcome to this advice video tutorial. In this video you will learn how to integrate the framework jQuery in advice and use its functions in your visualization. In order to use the framework offline in your project, you have to download it in a first step. Open the website jQuery.com and click on download in the menu. Now click the download link for the first compressed version. Because it is a JavaScript file, some browsers might classify this download as a security risk. Please accept the notification to continue the download. Switch to the Advice Builder and navigate to Library – Project in the Project Tree. Right-click Resources and select Add Resources. Search for the downloaded JavaScript file, select it and click Open. The jQuery framework has been added to your project. In order to use it in your visualization, the JavaScript file is loaded automatically when launching the project in the web browser. Open the library Advice and expand Resources. Right-click on Index HTM and select Save Content to Disk. Choose an easy accessible place to save the file because it can be deleted afterwards. Name the file index.htm and click Save. Right-click Resources in the project library and select Add Resources. Search for the previous stored file and click Open. Now you have loaded a copy of this file into your project library because it won't be changed during an update process in this place. This is important because the file will be edited in the next step. Double-click the file index.htm to open and edit it. Scroll to line 69 and copy it. Paste the line below. Change the name of the source file to the file name of the jQuery JavaScript. Please make sure that the file name is followed by its extension .js. You can save the file now and you have completed all necessary preparations to work with jQuery functions in your displays. In the next step, you will create an example with jQuery. Right-click the folder Object Displays in the Project Library and select Add Display. Name the display jQuery underscore fade. Click OK and open the display with a double click. Go to File Settings to open the display settings. Change the width to 400 pixels and the height to 200 pixels. Save your changes with a click on OK. Select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and draw a rectangle into the left half of the display area. Keep the rectangle selected and set rectangle as ID name. Save the input with a click on Set ID. Select the circle tool from the toolbar and draw a circle into the right half of the display area. Keep the circle selected and set circle as ID name. Save the input with a click on Set ID. Open the script editor to add dynamization to both elements with jQuery. In the first line, write the code var dollar equal sign top dot dollar semicolon. This is necessary to access jQuery. The circle should be faded in or out when clicking the rectangle. Write the following code in the second line: dollar open bracket document dot get element by id open bracket, quote, rectangle, close quote, close brackets two times, dot, click, open bracket, function, open and close bracket, open and close curly brackets, close bracket, semicolon. Enter two paragraphs between the curly brackets and increase the line indent by one step. Add the following code here. Dollar, open bracket, document.getElementById, open bracket, quote circle, close quote, close brackets two times, dot fade toggle, open bracket, quote slow quote, comma quote linear quote, close bracket, semicolon. Save the script and the display too. Navigate to server, my server, displays in the project tree. Open the display main with a double click. Drag and drop the object display jQuery fade into the display area and save the display. Go to Guided Actions, Open Web Browser for Server, My Server, 
HTTP 1 in the Advice Builder menu to open the visualization. You can now test the dynamization. Well done! You have implemented jQuery into your project and applied functions to graphical elements. For more information about jQuery, please visit the website jQuery.com.